Hello my fantastic friends, welcome in another crafting tutorial. In this video I will show you how to make beautiful pencil cases in three different styles and no sewing. So here are the materials for the first two designs. You will need some duct tape and I'm using the transparent one but you can use whatever color you prefer. Then you will need a stapler, you will also need a zipper, and a piece of fabric. First you want to take your piece of fabric and flip it upside down. These are the measurements, 32 and 22 centimeters. And then you want to take your duct tape and cut many pieces and cover the entire piece of fabric. So now you just want to trim the excess of tape. So now take your zipper, which has to be the same measurement of the shorter side of your fabric. Then flip your fabric the, on the right side and flip your zipper upside down. So fabric right side, zipper upside down. That's very important. So now take your stapler and begin stapling your zipper to the fabric. And you basically want to use a stapler like you would use a sewing machine. And when you reach the end of the zipper, open the zipper so you can work easier. Once you've stapled one side, then open the zipper completely and fold the fabric. You want your fabric to have the duct tape side facing up. And then you want to staple the other side. So once you reach this point, and you have stapled the two sides of the zipper. You want to fold everything like this so that the zipper is exactly in the middle. And then staple again. You want to make sure you stapled really well the zipper and the two parts of fabric, so put another staple just right in the middle. And now staple the other side. So at this point you have something like this. And you can stop right here if you want a flat pencil case which opens in the middle. But I decided I wanted a different design. So I took the corners and squished them into triangles and then stapled them. Make sure you staple them all the right size and the four of them. And now you just want to trim the excess with some scissors. So to protect them, just add some pieces of duct tape. Thank you. 
Now you want to flip everything from the inside out and you want to be extremely careful doing that. And here you go, your pencil case is ready! So this was the first design. I think it's adorable, it looks complicated but it's actually really easy to make. And the best thing is that we didn't sew and it's waterproof inside. So let's see how to make the second design. For the second design you want to take another piece of fabric, same measurement of the other one, and flip it upside down and cover with some duct tape. And then trim the excess with your scissors exactly as we did before. And again you want to do the same things we did before, so take the zipper upside down and staple that first on one side. And then fold everything and staple the zipper on the other side. So when you reach this point, you don't want to put the zipper in the middle as we did before, but you want to put that a little bit upper in this position. And then of course staple the two sides. Now you want to carefully turn that from the inside out. And press well to make your corners really pointy. So now you can just leave that like so or you can decorate it. I decided to add this trimming I had which I really adore and um, I just apply that with a little bit of hot glue. Of course you can do everything sewing with a sewing machine or with needle and thread if you're capable of that but if you're not you can see that it's easy to make without sewing. And that's it! The second pencil case is done! What do you think? I think it's adorable and I really like it! So let's see how to make the third design, the bow pencil case! this design you will need some fabric, hot glue gun and some velcro. And I'm using this velcro here from Tesa, which is like a tape made of velcro. It's a self-adhesive velcro and it's super super handy. So again you want to take a piece of fabric and the measurements are always the same and I suggest you to uh, fold the edges using an iron. So now we just take some hot glue and glue all the edges like so. It's really easy, really practical and really quick also. Of course, if you want to, you can sew this. 
Now take a strip of fabric 32cm long and 10cm wide and glue the edges towards the center. And you can leave that like so or decorate that. I decided to add some lace. Now glue that exactly in the middle of the shorter side of your fabric. Now take your velcro and cut that into four pieces and add them exactly in the position that I am showing here in the video. Now fold everything and just glue the sides like so, so you just add a little bit of glue and then press well with your fingers one side and then the other one. Now you want to fill that with your stuff to make some volume and then you want to wrap the strip all around to see in what position you want to place the velcro to close everything. You can give this design a bow shape or an envelope shape, that's up to you. So once you find the right place, apply the velcro and that's it! So this was the third design, I think it's adorable, you can use that for school or for your makeup and this is the same thing, but I gave this another shape. I gave this like more an envelope shape, so you can totally choose how to shape that. So guys, this was my back to school tutorial. I hope you liked that. So please leave some thumbs up and comments and share and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Ciao!